Coming up this week on The Archer's Choice. Where is she? Yeah, she's over there. This is The Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. That's right. And last week we left you kind of hanging there wondering how Ralph was going to do whitetail hunting. You know, in all, our, our, in all of our travels and, and our posse and meeting all the great people we have, th this show is dedicated to one of those people. That's right. You know, we lost Carmen last year in the fall. He was actually one of our posse. Carmen was filming Jeremy mm -hmm. from Hoyt. And, uh, well, it, one of his valves exploded on his heart, and we had lost him in the field. And you know, it's, it's a sad thing to lose a friend, a posse member, or anybody, and a fellow hunter, but more, more often than not, a lot of times we, we take for granted a lot of things. You know, Carmen, this is to you. And I know, we, we know you're up there with, with, with God, watching over all of us in, in your big Ameristep tree stands, but, um, what a way to go. So this first hunt is the last hunt that, that Carmen filmed. I'm from Utah, so I've grown up hunting mule deer and elk and black bears. This is my first whitetail hunt. Um, the whole tree stand experience is all new, whitetails, everything's new. So I've just been soaking it up and having a great, great time. And uh, tonight, we're hoping to, to get a shot. The last light we had a doe come right under the stand. Fine. She came into 25. I stuck her right behind the shoulder. Okay, with her. Let's take a look. <laughs> she's over here. Where is she? Yeah, she's over here. I don't know where you are. Are you sure she's over there? Yeah, she's over here. Couldn't have made it much farther. So how do we lose a dead deer here? Hey, look. There she is, babe. Yeah, buddy. Good job. First white tail. First white tail right there. Good job. Nice one. Congratulations, man. Thanks, Congratulations. Buddy. Appreciate it, man. White tail hunting. It's a lot of fun, man. <laughs> I'm hooked. Now we got a guy that is the first time he's ever went white tail hunting and shot his first white tail deer today. That's um, what a day. Yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah, Good day. That's just the kind of guy Carmen was. Just a great person. Carmen was one of those guys that just wanted to help everybody. Unbelievable. Oh, we did forget we'll to you, mention. Well, we will miss you, and we hope that you guys don't forget like we forgot. Nikon's your lucky logo this week. Yep. Yellow square. Yellow square logo. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. There, that's what we need. Welcome oh. back to the Archer's Choice. Hey, should we let them see how you do down in Pike? Yeah, with Eagle Lake Outfitters, Ted and the guys, they, uh, well, you know what? Carmen's sitting up there laughing because 
the wind shifted, Zendel and I had to run across the field to get in the other stand and well. Okay, shh, no just more, wait till just you roll the footage. Shh, shh. Like I said, it's almost Christmas and Vicky will shoot me if I don't get home for Christmas. But uh, we were just on that side of the food plot and the wind shifted and we knew it was gonna shift but they were saying late in the evening. Well, lo and behold, it shifted early. Zendel and I packed everything up, climbed down, and got into our other sit. The wind's coming this way, a little bit more west than we wanted to. Hopefully we won't booger those deer coming out in this corner and up there. This week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week is how many of you fletch your own arrows? How many of you are afraid to fletch your own arrows? How many want to but really don't know how? Well, new archery products introduced to products called Quick Fletch. Tubing with fletching, arrow, boiling water, Vicky's Kitchen, she's not here so I could do this right now. I want to show you how simple this is. Put it right on the shaft. Dip it in, pull it out, that's it. Is this cool or what? That is your Bow Honey World Tip of the Week. Ralph, that was close. What are the chances of actually you guys getting out of stand, running across the field and having that buck go underneath the stand you just left? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. I believe he gets another chance. Welcome back. You know, this buck and I had a date for destiny. Not sure whose destiny, but it was like a cat and mouse game for the whole season. And you talk about, well, a buck getting underneath your skin, you'll see.
if that doesn't get your heart boiling, you might as well be dead. What? It's 30 yards. 30 yards, but Vicky, that there was no shot opportunity, all that brush, and this buck is like getting mm, underneath my skin. getting underneath your skin. Let's leave the buck alone. Let's see if Zendel can fill a doe tag, shall we? Step back. Why? I just needed him to come like this close. I'd have been sitting there like this saying, hey, you're mine, baby. That's a bear target, not a deer. We woke up this morning with a north wind. It's really cold. The wind's blowing right away from the corn the bedding area and we're right in the middle. It should be nice. We've already seen a deer running through the field and we had one come up from the bottom. We're going to sit tight and see what happens this morning. Told you I could do it, Gary. <laughs> oh yeah, bright red, long blood. It's almost pink. Mm -hmm. She won't go far. White belly. She went in about 75 yards. Gary and I have been down here in Pike County, Illinois, hunting with Eagle Lake Outfitters the last few days. And Jeff, our guide, had asked me, ask us if we were. Uh, if we had an opportunity to take out a mature doe. And uh, this morning we'd sat there and it was cold and windy and uh, a good doe came through and we took our opportunity. She only went about 75 yards and piled up here. And uh, I'm tickled. I, I... Congratulations, Zendel, on that doe. Yeah, Z, that away, buddy. Good way someone, you know, can hit an object and get shots at him and everything else. Hey, you don't want to go anywhere? Because when we come back, we'll see if Ralph gets another chance on his buck. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Well. You got the ground blind set up 40 yards from the last we, place you saw that big buck. You know, so many people are always like, boy, I want to hunt Pike County, you know, and Ted down there on at Eagle Lakes. Everyone, I got to hit the, I got to hunt the rut, the rut, the rut. We're hunting there late season. The only thing that all those deer, especially the bucks, have in their mind is food. They got the evolved habitat, they got their food plots out there, and every single day all those bucks are coming out on the same trail. Okay, well, let's see what happens on that same trail. We okay, just couldn't get just real close shh, to that shh, trail. Shh, 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 just shh. Like we said last night, we were 40 yards that way, to the right, to the north. We got a south wind. All those bucks came out of this corner. We moved our mirror step ground blind in, and we brushed the living you know what out of it. We're hoping, finally, after this entire season, that we might be able to close the deal if these deer come out and they're not alarmed with the blind, something good could happen.
It happens to all of us. You, you know, know, that buck, we saw him all that time. And, you know, everyone's so carried away with they have to hunt Illinois or Iowa or any of these states, you know, in the rut. Mm -hmm. Down at Eagle Lake Outfitters, if, I mean, call them up. Go hunt that late season because well, they're... That, that buck, you saw him all season long. Oh. We're going to name him Lucky. Lucky. His name is Lucky his name and is his Lucky luck back. is running out. Yes, that's right, because this fall I'll be down there and I'll be hunting him. <laughs> Not on her life. Well, and, we you know, need to thank Ted and Jeff at yep. Eagle Lakes. And right, and say hi to Tina and Ella. Hi, Ella. How you guys doing? And, uh, you know, m more than, so everybody understands is that buck, those bucks were coming out at a 41, they, 42 they, yards. They, they don't care. And that doe pinned us. They don't care. Or she saw something. They don't care. And we paid more care. attention to the doe so we didn't get busted. If, if you happen to see the and Nikon Lucky logo. Away, if and you I happen just, to see the Nikon Lucky logo, go to archerschoice.com. He went further the information. than I thought. And someone is going to win some cool stuff he for Nikon. So no one really cares. Yes, they do. Thanks again for watching. Thanks, everyone, down at Eagle Lake. And uh, we'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here. On the Archer's Choice. And again, Carmen, thanks for watching over God bless us. you, brother.